Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest 2. Last time, we made it here to Colima, and uh, in order to get to our future bride, Balinese, we need to open a magical door, but the door needs a key. So let's go find that key, and apparently the key is somewhere deep in the ocean, if uh, I read the clue correctly. And lo and behold, there's a mermaid. Maybe she can uh, direct us. Oh, come on. Oh, swim. <laughs> Forgot you have to do that. All right, talk, mermaid. Hmm. Well, maybe uh, if we can't communicate with words, we can communicate with gifts. Now, you could give her a nice bracelet. That would be a good gift. However, like in the last King's Quest game, we want to save as much treasure as possible. So, give flowers to mermaid. Chicks love flowers. See? Told ya. Magical seahorse. Ah, there she goes. Seahorse. Of course they can't. What was I thinking? Oh. Um. Breath, breathing, air. Uh oh. And there's a shark. I'm not controlling this, by the way. Oh, and there's a whale skeleton, what I assume is a whale skeleton. Some pretty cool imagery here. Hello. That's loud. Oh, hello. And somehow we're able to breathe underwater, don't question it. Now I'm controlling it. <laughs> okay, give trident to Neptune, because that's most likely his. So he gives us a bottle and the first key. If I can get to it. Oh, come on. I guess I have to be right here. It's weird, I couldn't get in front of it. Oh well. Kill Neptune. Hmm. I don't think you can die down here, but oh well. So that's all you have to do. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Like I said, if you've uh, seen my... Uh, through the VGA version of this, you know it's a lot more complicated and drawn out and a lot more story to it. It's pretty cool. But this game is the original and it does a pretty good job, I think. So we have the first key. But I still want to go for a swim. It's nice out here. Nothing bad could happen swimming out in the middle of a sea in a Sierra Adventure game. Nice and refreshing. Nice calm sea, no waves or anything. Maybe we can see Neptune again. I wonder how long this goes on for. I can wonder how they program the screens on here. Like on the island, I think it's programmed where along the uh, Y axis, if you walk up and down, you'll actually end up in the same place. Uh oh. And of course that's what happens if you didn't guess so. <laughs> so let's not do that. Let's just go back to the door and open it up. We've got the key. So yeah. Let's see. Do I want to go up here? Oh. Ah. There. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, wait a minute. Let's look at our inventory. We got a bottle here. Oh. Hmm. Oh, get cloth. That's one of King Neptune's rewards, the cloth. Okay. So yeah, if we go uh, up two screens, and this is where we started. Yeah, so it uh, loops up around itself. Interesting. Wait, 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 let's make our way back to that bridge. And a nice slow walking pace. Yeah, nothing. Uh, we've already collected some of the main stuff we, we need. So there's not much to explore at the moment. But we haven't seen all of Kalima. In fact, we've only seen a little bit of it because... Uh, well, we our first task took us to the ocean. Am I still walking right? Am I stuck on some? Okay, good. Now, there's one issue that you can have with things in the foreground and you in the background is uh, sometimes you can't tell if you're still walking or if you're stuck on some. So we have uh, 40 out of 185 points. Hopefully, I'll be able to get the full points for this one. I don't think I did the last time, did I? I don't know, there's Monastery. Let's see. Oh, wrong way, not left. Anyway, that house is interesting, we'll see that later. Love how they... Oh, jeez. Yeah, that dwarf lives in that house. Go down, go down, go down. Off screen, okay. Whew. That was close. Yeah, that dwarf will steal things from you, and to get it back, you actually have to go and in, sneak into his house when he's not there, and get it back. Let me save before I go back up there. Alright, we don't want that dwarf stealing anything from us. Leva, uh, yes, the same thing as King's Quest 1, except I don't think in King's Quest 1 you can get your stuff back. There it is, the bridge. So, this is the third time we'll be crossing it. So, yeah, make sure to uh, make a note, because if I decided to cross it over here again before I got the key, for any reason whatsoever, I would then make the game unwinnable. Oh, jeez, almost fell off the cliff there. That wouldn't have been a good ending for Graham. But anyway, we have our key, there's the door. Our quest is at an end. So, do, 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 do. There's a key on the door. Open door. Unlock door. There we go. And there's another door. Hmm. I actually like how they do that, how it opens up to another door. Read door. Set the sights high. So before we went down into the ocean, now it says we should set our sights high. Great clue door, thanks. All right, so it's enough of that. Back across the bridge we go. This will be time number four. So we can only cross it three more times after this. Be careful. And 
must look rich. I'm on it. What do you mean entertaining thoughts of crossing it? You kind of have to. All right, so we've got that. So now. Let's uh, check out more of Kalima. Let's see what's here. Not much. Hmm. There's something suspicious about this tree. It has a hole in it. Oh, all right. Easy enough. I guess it's not treasure, but it'll, it might help us uh, beat off some monsters. I did not just say beat off monsters. I meant beat them away. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Shut up. All right. So now let's uh, see if we can go pay that dwarf a visit. Let's see what's in his house. He's probably stolen stuff from other people. Let's see what ha his collection has to offer. Let me steal from him. Hmm. And this would actually be a good place to... Uh, Save the game. So I just did so. It does seem that is the case. So let's go on inside. There's a uh, ladder-ishy looking ladder here. Oh, and we climb down it automatically. But be careful, because you could fall. Because it's tilted like that. And uh, I'm going to save again, actually. Okay, off screen I tried several times to walk off and on screen to see if the dwarf would appear because if the dwarf appears here before it gets to you you're supposed to walk off screen then come back and see if he's gone but he's not appearing for me so whatever wanted to kind of show what the dwarf death looks like anyway let's take a look hmm. ooh chicken soup that makes me hungry and uh, what is Graham going to oh we just touched the fire. What is Graham going to do with the soup? Shoves the whole hot thing in his pants. Because why not? Can we take a hat? Uh, I guess our head is too small for it. Let's see. Open chest. Open chest. earrings. Okay. And if the dwarf has st stolen anything from you, this is where you get it. Though it'll be in this trunk. But the earrings, those are uh, something we hadn't gotten. That's just something the dwarf stole from someone else. But let's take them nonetheless. Perhaps we'll find the owner. So that's enough of that. That's a nice little cozy place the dwarf has there. Doesn't deserve it, but whatever. Don't fall, don't fall. And there we go. Do, 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 do. So we have some more stuff now. Let's do some more exploring. 
Yeah, just like Daventry, Kalima is scattered with all sorts of nice little treasures hidden and neat little places. If we go up here, hmm, seems to be a hollowed out log right here. Aha! Uh -huh. See, told you. Lots of treasure. Alright, we got ourselves a necklace. Let's... Nice. A necklace, a bracelet, uh, earrings. King Graham's gonna look fabulous for Valenice. Alright, so. Let's do some more exploration, of course. There's still lots to see. This place is kind of like Daventry, though. Alright, go here, and then we. Go down here. Yikes. And actually, there's something I want to show you here, but it only has like a, it's like a random chance of appearing. Let me get back to you when I see it. Uh oh. Not that. <laughs> Careful for that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> And yes, that was a weird version of the Batman theme. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they actually put that in the remake, too. So, cool beans. I remember actually discovering that on accident and being like, whoa, that's awesome. So, yeah, there it is. The Batmobile. Anyway. Let's actually go inside the cave now. see if uh, the witch is in there. And she is not. Yeah, if she's in here, she will kill you pretty hard. Alright, um... Hmm. Well, it looks like there's only one thing we really want. Well, unless... Drink brew. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, let's get it. Hmm, okay. So we've got that. I think there was something else that we're supposed to do. Actually, let me restore, because, uh, let me show you something. Jeez, never mind then. The dwarf wasn't appearing in his house, the witch isn't appearing in her cave. I just don't even know. But yeah, like, um, <clears throat> if, uh, you come in and the witch is here, she still won't hurt you right away. You can actually sneak around her. And the thing is, um, I think you still want to do this now, but, uh, this, you know, the bird made noise? If the bird makes noise while Hagatha's in the cave, she will grab you and put you in the pot. And also, I believe if you're walking around with the cage and it's uh, uncovered, then it will make noise and attract other things. So let's uh, put cloth on cage. And that'll keep it quiet. Now take cage. So we have our first key, we have uh, our quest for the second key, and we have a bird. What will we do with these? Well... You're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play King's Quest 2. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.